today is the 10th day of August 2013 and I was just going through some of my older overlays here not too old but this is a picture of the lunar south pole and I had the weather up here today's weather over North America um, I noticed this area right here I was I had this I had this crater basically set up a little bit higher I, this, let me just show you here I had it up I think it was up like about like this right and I could see that I was just a little bit off. I could see this crater. Uh, let me move back down now. Here. I could see that crater right there, right here. See this crater? In the this is in the weather, actually. You see the crater right there. Hold on a second. Let me pop, let me get that off there. Okay, you can see the pattern around there pretty well. See that? See the circular, circular shape right there in the weather? See that? See that circular shape in the weather? Grand Canyon right on the edge there. Okay, well this is, I, all I did was move it, move this picture of the South Pole of the Moon down to fit that area. Because I had it really close, I was just a little, just up a little bit too high, moved it down, and look at that, look at that fit there. It's the right size, everything, this is, this is North America as it sits today on the Earth, right? Okay, and this is something else I was working on in California there, but. So when I did that, I lined that up, I looked over here, and this is, this this just fit right just happened to fit right there let me just fade the weather out so you can see that see what I'm talking about here see that curve in the weather right here uh, you don't want you to see right there and then look at that curve on the moon okay now let's just take a look at the rest of the weather here just, just look I mean it, it, people you really need to start looking at things like this if you really want answers I mean, it, it's answered all my questions. It, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I've seen so much in the weather and so much on the Earth uh, as far as the lunar shapes fitting, the lunar surface fitting the Earth at, at a much larger size than they say the moon is. I mean, it's just much larger. It has to be much larger. Now, I, I, I do take into effect or account that um, that the North, North American continent is basically, you know, down towards the equator. If it all started at the poles, it might have been smaller. The impact might have been might have been smaller and may have been stretched as it moved towards the poles. I have no idea, or moved towards the equator. I I don't know, but it always turns out to be larger than they say, at least in the weather. And, and then you can see it on the land too. I mean, it, I'm gonna turn the weather off here. We'll look at this over the land and just see what happens here. I mean, I can look at look at the Great Lakes. I mean, if you were to go into detail and look at these areas, you would see this crater right here. It's got to be there. It has to be. Some f shape of it, some form of it, somehow. I mean, this is this is the center of the impact, basically. You see. I mean, it, this is the lunar south pole is hit, I believe, more than one time. I think all, Mare Orientals hit more than one time. I think. Uh, I think the moon's hit the earth a lot of times. I mean, look at that, people. It shows something right there. Because you can see there's definitely curve, curves, circular shapes and curves to fit this pattern here. See what I'm saying? They pretty much fall right into place. Now, if I turn borders on, you might see a little bit more here now that I got this lined up here. Let's see what borders show us. Borders don't really follow the the land shapes in, in North America, they all, they're all pretty square, so they, but in like other countries where you turn the borders on, you'll see where they have the bor country borders, they'll have, they'll follow like land land shapes, shapes of the land, mountain ranges, whatever, and, and they'll fit pretty good, but this doesn't, all, doesn't really work that well in, in North America, except for when you're, you're doing stuff off the East Coast here and you've got something that fits in the Atlantic there, it usually works pretty good, but you can see Mexico, look at Mexico, let me just fade this in and out. Look at Mexico. Look at the Rockies. Right here, or Colorado right here. Colorado Plateau. That would create a plateau if this crater was already here on the, on the moon and it hit the earth. It, it would create a plateau, I would think, because it's already a crater there, see what I'm saying? Look at Mexico there. I mean, that's, that's pretty huge. And that weather again. Turn the borders off. Getting only too much out here. 
Now look at that. Something right. In the, I had something marked right there in the center. That's the 33rd degree. Oh yeah, that falls right on the 33rd degree line too. Look at that. The center of that impact. I bet you it falls right on the 33rd degree. Let's turn on the grid. And it's just right on the 33rd degree, which is right. There's 32 point whatever. So it's just above that. That's right on the 33rd degree. See, that's that's what I'm saying. It, it, that 33rd degree means something. It, it's, it relates to something. It doesn't mean 33rd degree temperature. I mean, it has something to do with the, the the latitude lines on the Earth. I mean, there's a lot of impacts that take place on that line. In, in Asia, and obviously in North America, you know, so that's something to think about. Turn the grid off here. Okay. I mean, you can see that. I got 33rd degree marked around the whole planet here, but it's right there. You can see it. That's not the center of the impact. The center of the impact is like right here, but it's still at the, that 33rd degree area. Okay, let's let's see what's right under the center of it. Okay, we got some of the lowest points on the on the Earth, right, or in North America, right there, pretty much. I mean, Louisiana, that's all low low lying area there. Mexico, you can see Mexico. Look at Mexico right there. I mean, you can see that. See the shape of Mexico over there, pretty much. I can see it. Just one of many. I mean, that that weather right there just just confirmed it because I was just a little bit off on that, just a just a slight bit right there. Now watch as I fade fade this out. Oops, right here. Look at that. I was just a little off. I was like right up here and I just moved it down. And it was the right size already and everything. Look at that. What, what we got here? This weather here? Look at, the, look at that edge. Watch. It'll show itself better. Uh, look at It's got this big patch right here where that big crater is right there. See, that, see right here? It's going to show itself better some other time. I mean, it's showing itself really well right now. There's the edge of that crater there. You see something there. Definitely something there to that. Especially when you got this lining up at the same time. See that curve? That's that's the exact curve. I mean, how do you get that? How? What other way do you get that? You see that? This is the exact same curve. Then you got this edge right here. Is coming down to a point pretty much. You can see it fits in there pretty damn well. Something around here, something right there. I know it's hard to see. That's why I always tell everybody to, to try it themselves because, I mean, I've been doing it for a long time now and I, I've seen so much. I would not believe the things that I've just. Blew my mind. There's been times that I just wanted to just, I've actually shut my computer down because I was afraid I'd seen too much or something. Seriously. But look at it. I mean, you can see how this, this big area right here where these two craters are, it fill, it, it's like empty with clouds. There's nothing there, but it, and it just kind of fits right in there. You can see how it fits right in, in place in the weather, pretty much. Go, everything goes right around it, just right. That curve and this crater just. That's just confirms everything for me. That's all I need, really. When I seen that I was just that far off, and I just moved it down, and just because I, I thought I had this this when this was up up here, this was kind of down here in this curve here, and I just look at that curve. I mean, weather people could fit a little better, maybe. I mean, if, I, if I move this over a little bit, maybe a little narrower, probably would fit better. But I'm not going to move it. It's fine. Just fine. You gotta, you gotta wonder why that weather is all right in, is concentrated in that center, in, in the center of that right there. And when I put that there, how, when it fits that well, I mean, you just have to think about that. I do. I, mean, I don't even have to think about it anymore. I just, I know. I know it does something. Somehow, the the moon has shaped, shaped the Earth and the weather. It, I mean, it's just, it, I don't see any other way that it could do that without hitting the Earth. I mean, I, I don't see how it could just do it from space. Just don't see that. Let me 
to see how everything fits in there. Just right in that spot, right in that location. So I think, what I think, well, it's hard to say, but it, apparently the moon's hit the Earth many times around the, around the entire globe, or it's hit a, a few times in, in all the continents were in the same place or something, but I mean, this is, you can see this same, one of these same impacts over in Africa. You can see them over in Asia at the same size. You can put it all together pretty much that way. I was just trying to point something important out to you. I think it's really important whether or not it is. Well, I know it is. Look at this straight line right here. Where did that straight line come from? I see a straight line right down here at the bottom pretty much right here. Right across here some, somewhere. Right there, see that line? Could be that part could be off. It could be no. You can see the curve right here. Look at this curve right here. See the curve? Yeah, fits right in there. There's kind of a line right here too, somewhat. You got this kind of curve, curve shape here around that crater. Nothing's going to be perfect, but look. I mean, you don't need. To be, perfect to understand what's going on. Look at this. Schrodinger. Watch. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Look at that. We've got a little tropical storm there, it looks like. Look at that fit right there. Holy shit. Does the same thing in the, in uh, Central America, this, this crater does. Great hurricane. It's got an area where hurricanes start over there all the time. This is in the Pacific, right? Yeah. Let's just take a look at the where it falls one more time. That's not even the only line that I've done either at this one over North America. But that looks like a pretty good, pretty good one there. I showed you the other, the one the other day. You can check that one out too, where I put Mirror Oriental over. It's, you need to really check them out. I'm telling you, don't be shy. Don't be, don't think I'm, you know, don't, don't be afraid to be, uh, you know, if you think I'm wrong, then don't, don't look. I guess, don't look. I say you owe it to yourself to look. I do. Never know till you look. Shit, look at that thing. That's unbelievable. That edge. All right, that's it. Have a good weekend.